Happy Thursday. I almost said Wednesday. Happy Thursday, everybody. This is Ivana. Welcome back for another day of Lunch Break Live with me. And uh, today is a fun day because we are at Peach Park in Clanton. Now, Peach Park is an Alabama icon. If you have never been, you are 100% missing out. And uh, Peach Park is really a place where a lot of people stop by on their way to the beach. Uh, obviously, not as many people are traveling right now. So, I wanted to come up here, I wanted to talk with the owners of Peach Park about how their business has been and also what they're doing to follow state guidelines about social distancing, masks, um, different things like that. Now, again, keep in mind Peach Park is interesting because they are a market, a produce market, a retail store. You can see behind me, they've got clothes in the window. So, they're a retail store, a produce market, uh, they also have a deli area, an ice cream bar. So and also a park outside where you can eat with a little playground area. So they've got a lot of different elements to this business that have reopened slowly. Uh, at times, parts of the business were open, parts were not open. So it's just been ever-changing here for Peach Park. So the owners, Robin and Mark, have graciously agreed to talk to me, tell me a little bit about what they're doing to keep customers here safe and also show you that they are open. So I'm going to go walk in here now. Um, and we will we'll talk to them, see what they're doing. And um, as you can see, I'm going to flip you around. I will show you that they are open as ever, stocked and, and ready to roll. So I got my pole mic again so I can interview them with maintaining our social distance. So good morning. How are y'all? Good, good morning. So these are the owners. This is Robin and Mark of Peach Park. And uh, oh, you're fine. <laughs> you are fine. And um, as I was saying earlier, they are unique in this uh, pandemic because they have so many different aspects of their retail. They have a market, a retail shop, uh, an ice cream area, a food area, and an outdoor play area and park. So they've got a lot of different elements here to that opened at different times. So first, you know, why don't y'all tell me a little bit about what happened when these closures first started and you had to close everything but the market side of your business? Well, we, um, we didn't have to fully close everything. We still had takeout uh, in the back, and our market was open. Um, but uh, since these new rules and regulations, we've been able to open the um, restaurant fully, and uh, ice cream, cobbler and pies, all that stuff are available. And you can sit down now outside or inside. Um, our park had to be closed uh, at first. But now it's back open also. Mm -hmm. And I know that, Robin, do you run the retail side more than Mark? Uh, yes. The I, yeah, the boutique and uh, gifts and, and all. Mm -hmm. So what was that like when that had to shut down before May, until May the 1st? Well, we were able to, the owner and some of the employees could be in the boutique to carry things out for people. Um, we tried to get everything on the website, and so we had a lot of people ordering from the website, and then they wanted to pick up curbside. And so thankfully we had Easter and Mother's Day during that time um, leading up to Mother's Day. And so we were able to still shop for people and uh, provide that service for them during that time. Uh, can you tell our viewers what you told me about, you know, you got kind of a rush recently and you're having to reorder stuff. Oh yes, uh, like I said, thankfully we had Mother's Day last week and so we had lots of shopping and, and I think when the, the dining opened up on Monday that brought a lot of people out. And uh, so, yes, so they have kind of been through and, and we're, we're having to reorder, thankfully. We weren't sure that that was going to happen this year. Right. Well, and something that you and I talked about before too, um, Robin, and maybe Mark, you can speak to this, the, the peaches. There are people that want to come in and they want to they feel the different peaches. They want to pick their best batch. What are you doing right now in this time to make sure that um, the, the produce is safe and people are not handling things that they don't buy? Well, we try to... Um discourage that you know um, but um, as far as the peaches go we go ahead and pack them out in individual cups or baskets so they don't have to you know go through a box and pick out peaches they are they're already in a cup or basket or whatever and they just pick that basket up and then go with it so mm -hmm. so you haven't really seen a problem with that no we haven't so what now Every element of your business right now is open at this point, in some with guidelines, but they're still right. open. Have you been busy? 
We, it, since um, Mother's Day week, we have really been busy. Um, I think uh, a lot of people are tired of staying in and want to get out. And I mean, you know, I think we're just sort of a good escape for that. You can come and since our park and all and, go, and gardens are open, playgrounds back open. So, you know, it's somewhere for the, to get the kids out and, and let them run and play and, and then still get to enjoy food and, and ice cream and all as a treat before you go home. So Right. Well, and also something that we talked about is that y'all are perfectly situated as a stop on the beach. It's what a lot of people come here for. That's kind of an icon people have for years is stopping here on their way to and from the beach. Uh, do you worry that your business will be affected by maybe less people going to the Alabama beaches this summer? Oh, we definitely do. Um, you know, um, a peach tree don't know all this is going on, so they're loaded down with peaches, and and you know we just we've got to have a way to uh, to move those. You know, as they come in, different varieties come in. You know, so um, the the traffic that we have going to the beach, um, you know, when we were when it was closed, we definitely could tell. You know, it, it, this sort of all started at spring break in that last week of March. It's our biggest spring break week, and I mean, it was just, it was just nobody. Right. So it, it hurts us a lot when, when the beaches are closed. So we were really happy when we when they opened those back up. So. Do, has, is this uh, like a traffic today or, or, you know, this week, has this been close to normal or still noticeably slower? It's, it's close. Um, I mean, you know, I think it's still a little uh, off, but um, I, I'm, I mean, it's, it's coming back. I think we're going to have a, uh, a really good summer, and um, I think it's going to turn around really quick. So I have just a question in the sense that so many people, I just got a comment, especially from my boss, uh, that y'all have the best ice cream in the world. I happen to agree with that. I'm a little bit biased. But tell me, you were doing food takeout. It's hard to do ice cream takeout. <laughs> It is hard to do ice cream takeout. Um, I think um, a lot of people, well, we, we talked to uh, some folks that said, um, you know, you're, you're violating the rules. They're eating in the parking lot. And we were like, well, you know, ice cream, you don't have that long to eat it. Right. So you got to eat it but as soon as you get it. So, right. you know, it was hard for for us to uh, follow all those rules, you know, when it comes to ice cream. So. Well, I was, uh, I told I told Robin that when I left the house this morning, my husband said, if you don't bring home ice cream, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> so I've gotta figure out how to get that back to Birmingham. So tips. Well, we can fix that. Okay, we, we yeah, tips, y'all let me know. <laughs> but can you show me if you have any sort of like lines or social distancing kind of guidelines set around around the store? Oh yeah, Market, we can. Um, we started early, you know, um, even out front in the produce market, we started marking off the six feet uh, just like a lot of businesses did um, just to just to have somewhere you know to know where you're supposed to stand to be at the safe, safe distance, distance away so right and this um, is leading up to the right to the cash register right here right and um, and then in our line in the ice cream in there mm -hmm. when you go into the restaurant we have a uh, the lines of course on the floor and we also have the uh, sanitizer station where you can get sanitizer on your hands and and um, as you go in the door so I mean you know we we're trying to um, and of course we're wiping everything down um, we've we got a the, the door propped open in the boutique so that you don't have to touch the door handle yeah and but the places where you do have to touch the doors we have somebody that's uh, right coming right you know every every few minutes and they're wiping that that down so with sanitizer so um, um, we're just trying to make sure that you yeah know, we're staying as safe as we can for our employees and our our customers. So. Right. Do you mind showing me the stuff in the restaurant? Oh, no. no well, while we're walking, too, how have the peaches been this year? Like you said, a peach tree doesn't, doesn't know a pandemic from a normal time. They, are they big? Are they good they peaches are. this they year? They look really good. We had no late freezes, so um, they look really good this season. So, like, I love I love what you said. It doesn't, the peach tree doesn't know, so peaches mm. are good. Y'all are open uh, to come it, out and get them. It, yeah. it's, it's loaded down, so it, it doesn't know that all this mess is going on. What are you doing with all your excess of peaches? Are you making well, personal cobblers every we, night? We, <laughs> we, we have um, we, anything that's um, overripe or that we can't use, we're, we're going ahead and we're, uh, making, we're cutting them up, making um, cobblers and ice cream. Mm -hmm. She's making ice cream today also, so... Yeah, Mark's Thank mother so makes all the ice cream. She's oh my gosh! In there today so, working. You can see her the lights, in there. The lights are doing 
So yes, when you come in, you like I said, you can get the uh, sanitizer when you walk in the door, and then we have it marked off mm -hmm. here for when you're in line. Um, and then in the back back there, the barbecue has the same thing. Okay. So, and I know your picnic tables outside are already far apart. Yeah, yeah, we've spread all our tables, and we took some tables out of the dining inside dining room just to make sure we had them spaced out far enough. So, have you seen a lot of people coming in wearing masks? We do, we do. We see some that come in and some that don't. Um, it doesn't matter either way to us. Mm -hmm. um, my girls are re uh, required back here to wear them, so uh, with the r new rules, so so we're all wearing them in here. Mm -hmm. um, but. Um, it's, um, of course, we you have to get all your condiments back in the back uh, for a barbecue and stuff from behind the counter. Our bar outside is not not okay, uh, got it. You can't, can't go up and can't pump self the ketchup serve. And got yes, it. you can't self serve with the condiments and stuff. So, um, but um, other than that, we are pretty much normal, I guess. Yeah, and just to answer, <laughs> I, I don't know if some of y'all can see because um, we're a little bit further back, but all of the food handlers here are wearing masks. You might. Yeah, I'll, I'll get in a little closer so y'all can see, but they have all got their masks on, bright blue, and you can see them like mine. I guess we're matching nowadays. So you can see all the food handlers do have them on, and it's important to note that uh, y'all are technically city of Clanton, correct? Yes, correct? Okay, so Clanton does not have an ordinance like Birmingham. So their uh, people, visitors, are not required to wear masks like we are in Birmingham. So if anybody's got that question, that's why um, the food handlers have them, but some visitors don't. So... This is, um, I had a had another question too about, you know, do you, I know we talked about the peaches. I know you said that y'all are using a lot of extras for cobbler, things like that. Are you doing, um, like, how has your takeout business been overall? Maybe not just ice cream desserts, but food wise, have you done curbside? Have, I know you did for clothes. We, we do. We have done it with, with food too. I mean, you can call in, place an order. And then when you get here, just call us and we'll bring it out to the car if you don't want to come in. So, um, and and everybody has really supported us big time with that, and uh, we really appreciate that a whole lot. Are you so? Are you still doing curbside for people who don't feel comfortable? Yes, yes, ma'am. We're still doing it. Um, we've been doing it um, ever since this started. So we'll we'll keep doing that, and as long as there's some type of uh, ordinance or rules, we'll still keep the curbside going. So. Mm -hmm. Well, and one thing that, that Robin and I talked about, this is, so y'all have been here for how long? The 80s? 84. 84. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the first time this has happened in our lifetimes. Right? Yes. Something similar. You said the only thing similar you could think of that had happened in, in your lifetime, a business lifetime, is the oil spill. Is that, um, can you tell us about how the oil spill affected your business and compare that? Well, it, it was the same way um, in some aspects. I mean, it was, they closed, you know, you couldn't go to the beach. So that that hurt us, but it was a little different though, too. I mean, you know, they didn't, they didn't shut you down as far as your restaurant and stuff like that. People could still eat. So, you know, we were still getting people, um, the ones that were leaving the beach to go somewhere else or or the ones that still took a beach trip but didn't go in the water, you know, they just, they could still eat out and stuff. Right. And I mean, you know, it, it hurt us then, but it wasn't as long of a time mm -hmm. um, frame. I mean, it was, it was, the worst part of it was it came in, what, June, July, somewhere in that area. And I mean, you know, that's our busiest time of year. So it hurt big time, but... In a couple of weeks, you know, it started easing up, and then that did really slow a lot of people down right. as far as that goes. Right. This, this, when it this came, it, it stopped people in their tracks. I mean, you know, people were staying at home, and they just were not going at all. So. And something too that uh, I want to ask, and, and I'm not sure who's better situated. It might be you, Robin. The pageant is off for the year, can, and I know this is. is a huge deal. I had a sorority sister at college that was Peach Queen, and it is. Uh -huh. If you are not from this area, if you've not been to this area, it's a huge deal. Oh, it is. Can you tell us the plan for the cancellations, what's on, what's off? Um, the 
Peach Festival is every year is organized by the Plant and Lines Club, and since that takes so many months to get together and organize and plan, um, they made a decision a couple of weeks ago to just go ahead and cancel the pageants this year. They're going to try to have some aspects of possibly a parade. I'm not sure what they decided about the parade and the peach auction every year where they auction off the peaches, but um, it is a big deal. As you can see when you come in, you, you see all of the former peach queens and um, we are very proud of that in our county. And so. Um, our former Peach Queens from last year will serve to a two-year term, and right. I think that's the only time that has happened since maybe the late 50s um, when it was canceled. So this is the first time this has happened in a really long time. And, and so it, it will be a blow because that's always the last weekend in June, and we always have a really big um, Customer Appreciation Day on that Saturday, and so we're we're not certain that we'll be able to do that. We're, we're gonna you know play that by ear and see what happens with the the governor's decision in the next few weeks. So no new peach queens here. No new peach queens, but we love our our current peach queens, and we're excited that they're gonna get to serve a second term. Good, good. Well, I'm uh, I appreciate y'all so much taking the time to to tell us about this. I know a lot of people had been wondering if y'all were open. And uh, so y'all are open. You're open for ice cream, for food, for peaches, all of the above. Yes, and so we appreciate y'all so much. And uh, for everybody watching, thank you so much. If you have questions about Peach Park, about what they're doing, their hours, anything like that, please let me know. And uh, I will get those questions to Robin and Mark, and we will get them answered. So thank y'all so much for watching, and thank both of y'all.